Hello everybody, it's just Tom GG Airport and this is um excuse me a minute. This is an airport update for June. Uh yes, this is the first of June today I believe. And uh news, breaking news. Thompson Airways have just received his first seven eight seven Dreamliner and it landed at Manchester the thirty first of May. Check out Tom Markey's video because he's got it. He uh, filmed it and anyway. Starting off this side, uh, Turkish Airlines 737-800, just holding short there. Um, it came from um, it came from the hangars over there, um, and it's just going to uh, it's just taxiing out, and it's going to taxi into one of the gates here. I think it's going to taxi into where the BA ARJ 170 is, because that's heading off in a minute. Down one way. Um, yeah, you can see a Monarch A320. Um, that's going to be going off to Emma International Airport, or Jinnaja at Stubbins Airport. Woo! <sighs> I'm too crazy, guys. <coughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that, I just... I, just, I knew that was coming. Air France A319-100 is um, just going to... It's just taxiing up. <coughs> It's just taxiing up and that's going to be heading off to Paris poorly. I'm so sorry about that, guys. I'm going to go. I'm so sorry uh, for the sneezing. Yeah. That's going to be heading off to Paris poorly. But yeah, uh, British Airways Open Sky, 7572-200. That's going to go off to Newark. New York. Uh, funny enough, I found um, Open Skies on Flight Radar 24 yesterday. But it had the French registration and it was from Orly to Newark, so I'm going to do American routes as well from here. BA, ATR, 72, 200. It's going to be heading off to um, uh, Belfast. No, not Belfast, sorry, Edinburgh. Edinburgh. BA, 734. The boarding passengers, because it just came from uh, Lisbon. And then my newest aircraft, uh, BA City Flyer ERJ 170. I'm gonna get a better view here. Yeah, BA City Flyer ERJ 170 has boarding passengers. That's gonna go on to Manchester Airport, which is uh, Monarch Flyers Airport, then on to Brussels Air uh, Brussels and Drip International Airport or Jet Blue Five Nine Five Airport. Here we have a Virgin 744. I know it's still here again, guys. Um, that's gonna probably be one of its main gates here. Um, RG thousand seven five two is just coming from Palmer de Mallorca and it's just taxiing into that gate. Um, and then it'll head off somewhere else. So I think that's it for this side. Pretty much said every, every single plane this side. So for this side here, we have a fly B seven three forty. Um, that's going to be there for a couple more hours. That's going to be heading off to MN as well. Uh, Lux Air Q four hundred dash eight. Uh, it's going to be heading off to Luxembourg Findle. Yeah, Luxembourg Findle. International. Here we have a US Airways E330. <coughs> uh, this just came in from Charlotte Douglas CLT International Airport. Um, then it's going to go off to uh, Philadelphia. Singapore Airlines A380. Um, A380. Yes, I did see this at Heathrow. In my Heathrow takeoffs video. Uh, yeah, I saw that depart. I saw the Qantas as well, but that didn't take off, unfortunately. That was just in remote stands for a long time. And about my um, Heathrow spotting vids, they're not all in the right order. Like, when the when at the part when the Air Canada A330 took off, um, that was in wrong order because if you could tell earlier, I was filming it taxi into the runway. So, yeah, it's important to see 380. It's just... Uh, in these final stages of turning around, it's going to go off to Singapore, Shanghai, then on to Hong Kong. Um, here we have a Qantas A380-100. Um, that's just about to go. It's just boarding passengers' final call. That's going to go off to Sydney via Singapore. Sydney via Singapore, yeah, that's a stop. I have brought finally back in my Virgin, this side. Uh, 
Ruby Tuesday GVX LG. I just came in from a uh, OCI, uh, JP five nine five airport, and then it's going to be heading off to uh, East Coast. One hundred nine five airport. Here we have a Swiss A three thirty. Uh, it's going to be there for a couple of nights, mind. Uh, then I'll be towed to one uh, gate here, or possibly one of those two heavy gates over there. Air Mexico triple seven, uh, triple two. It's gonna be there for a couple of hours, and then it's gonna be towed to I think the gate over by the Virgin over there. Uh, then it's gonna be going off to Cancun. Ah, uh, no, 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 let's get over here. Hawaiian seven seven six seven three hundred ER. Uh, us going off to um. City's Beach International Airport or um, Team Scroll Scooters Airport. I finally brought in this plane into service. Well, it, it already has been serviced by in my office. I've already had, always had it parked up here. Finally got it out. That's going to be on a Virgin. Uh, 744 going off to uh, Orlando, MCO. Uh, and then a FedEx 777. Um, Triple seven two three two. In my last video, when I added in the hangar, I said UPS triple seven. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry for that. Here we have the Qantas seven four four and the Wallabies liveries. Just uh, in it was in the Virgin hangar for a couple of nights, and that's just going for the Hawaiian to pass. It's going to taxi down and go to one of the gates here. I think the Singapore gates has gone off in a minute. I know wait, not the Singapore's gate because that's going off later, I think. Um, possibly the US Airways. Oh, uh, we don't know what we're going to do with that, but we'll see. Um, UPS 52 Freighter. That's going to be there a couple of nights, and that's just that came in uh, literally a couple of minutes ago from um, Houston George Bush International Airport. And then I'll be going off to uh, the FW tomorrow morning. Uh, Virgin 744 is still there, and that will be uh, to to an available gate um, tomorrow morning. Um, then uh, it'll be heading off to it'll be heading off to um, Narita, Tokyo. Uh, I think they go there, yeah, Marito. Um An RC320 is still there. Uh, that'll be, that'll be um, towed out of the gate at uh, home uh, later, by later on today. And that'll be operated as flight VS3054 of uh, version Little Red. That's just the made up flight number, by the way, guys. Um, yeah, that'll be uh, operated by version Little Red, and that'll be going off to Manchester. Um, Aberdeen and Dice and stuff. Iceland Air, 752, 753, sorry, and uh, Dallas Connection CRJ100. They're both still there. Um, they will both, uh, the Iceland Air will be towed out later on today. Um, as for the CRJ, they're an extra night. And then Miami Air, 737800, uh, still there. Just going to be staying there for a couple more nights. Yeah, so um, I think that's pretty much the whole airport. Sorry if nothing much has changed. I do apologise. Um, I do believe it's June uh, first. And news for and I got massive news for Sunday. Um, uh, definitely. Um, uh, Bristol Sports HD. If you watch this video, you'll probably know what I'm gonna say anyway. But on Sunday, this Sunday. Sunday the 3rd of June there will be an Austrian Airlines Fokker F70 landing at Bristol and um, quite quite rare I think the last time we had the Austrian Austrian Airlines in uh, was when it when we had the snow this year 2013 when we had the snow in Britain but it wasn't the Fokker F70 it was the 737-800 and then uh, the last time I went to Bristol before that was uh, back in 2012 and they had the A321 
in service uh, from Vienna and uh, Innsbruck, I think. Um, but I don't know where the Fokker F70 is going to be operating to and from, but I can't wait to see it if I'm going. Um, I, might, I might not be going, I might be going, it's just like um, one of those things where you don't know if you're going or not. Um, but hopefully I'll be going up with Gemini Jet 3242. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this airport update, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.